All right, so now we need to program this. Now we're going to program our timeout first. Now there's only a limited amount of settings. We have one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes, I believe. Um, it'll show you in your instruction as well. But what you want to do is we want to press that once until it flashes, and that's going to take us into test mode. And you'll see it keeps flashing here. Now that's test mode. What we want to do, like I said, we can set this to one minute, five minutes, uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes uh, for timeout. I'm going to set this to two min to, to one minute um, and we'll see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is hit this once, hold it down and that is going to flash once. It's going to flash twice. Now it's set to one minute. So when I leave the room and there's no activity after one minute, it will shut off. If I want to set this to five minutes, I'm going to hold this down. It's going to flash once. It's going to flash twice. It's going to flash three times. Now it's set to five minutes. Um, so that means when I leave, it's going to be on for five minutes. As long as there's no activity, it will shut off. And I'm okay with five minutes too. So we can leave it like that for right now. But same thing. If you wanted to set it to 15 minutes, hold this down, let it flash four times. If you wanted to set it to 30 minutes, hold this down, wait till it flashes five times, and that'll set that. Okay, so now we're going to get into our, our more advanced settings, in the, which is going to require access to this little tab right here. Now, by default, this is going to be set to one um, in occupancy mode, which means it's auto on, auto off. So when you walk in, it's going to flip on. When you walk out, after the timeout, it'll flip off. If you want this to be set up so that you actually have to hit this button when you come in and then it'll auto go, then it'll shut off automatically when you leave, um, you can take this, you're going to hold that down. It's going to flash once. It's going to flash twice. Now it's going to automatically go off after my timeout, which is set to five minutes right now. But when I walk in, I want to hit the button. I'll turn the light on again. Either one is fine. It's really more of a preference thing. One reason you may want to have to hit that button to turn it on is because maybe you got something that in the room that moves uh, frequently, uh, maybe a fan or something like that that turns on um, and it'll constantly keep switching the light on. Um, so you want to do it manually. That's one reason why you might do that. If you're manually pushing this on, it's going to be your vacancy setting. Now, the other feature that I think is really cool is the auto on auto off and daylight sensing so we want to hold that button down we're going to let it flash three times one two three now what's going to happen is that during the day it's not going to come on if you've got enough natural light in the room um, it's not going to worry about coming on so that's kind of a nice feature because then I don't, it doesn't actually turn on during the daytime when i get the window open because there's plenty of natural light in this room. So that's kind of cool. Now, the other setting is our sensitivity settings. And to set those, we're gonna hold this down, push that, push, basically we're gonna push this down and the button, wait for it to flash once. And that's low sensitivity, which basically means if somebody's in the room, they're kind of moving a foot or moving their head around or something, it's not gonna necessarily trip it and it's not gonna flip the light on. Um, but if I change this to high, which is the default setting, one, two, that's default. And that means that if somebody's moving around in the room, it's going to pick it up. It's going to pick up small movements um, and it'll reset the sensor so that it doesn't shut off. That's again, default setting. Now, if we hold this down, this down and this down, and we do three flashes, it resets all our settings um, to factory defaults, which I'm not trying to do right now. But yeah, that's how you program it, pretty easy. Now, the other thing here is if, if you run into a situation where it's not turning on because of natural light, and you want it to, um, once you come into the room, it doesn't turn on, um, hit that switch button within five seconds, and it'll basically learn that you want to be, a, you want it to turn on um, whenever you walk in the room. Um, so that's kind of a, just kind of a catch all. Um, if it's not doing what you want, when you walk in the room, hit that button within five seconds and it'll, it'll switch that setting and learn whatever it is you want it to do instead of what you programmed. Um, but really that's pretty much all there is to it.